Hey guys, welcome back to Keith's Customs. Today we're going to be working on the F-250 again. Well, it's actually just later on the same day. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. We're going to be lifting this box off. Uh, I had a problem with one of the bolts before. And I welded a nut on there. I was able to get that loose. Uh, I've got all the bolts out. Everything looks like it's clear on the bottom. So, I think we're ready to lift this baby up. I got some straps in here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up the box and set it on these sawhorses. <laughs> in theory. <laughs> we'll see if that works. Uh, but that's the plan. Pick up the box, set it on these sawhorses, and uh, I gotta roll the truck a little forward. So, but you guys are gonna have a front row seat. So let's we'll see if we can get this done. Let's see if we got a good view here. Oh, not the best. Huh? All right. Well, first, we gotta roll the truck for a little bit. Right. I'll reposition you over here a little bit. There we go. Now I got my hoist. Got an axle strap here. Two clips. I'm gonna put you over here. Put you right here. Oh, that's much better. There we go. All right, so we're gonna use this axle strap to connect the hoist to the straps. Hopefully we're in a kind of a balanced spot so it doesn't really tilt on us. Let's give it a shot. California, or California, the uh, camera special has this big bumper that's sticking way out and that's preventing it from going in another you know, foot and a half. So we're going to have to get it from the side, it looks like.
Well, let's give that a shot. We'll have to. Uh, Give this a shot. Go around here. So this is going Get it on the bumper. We're moving the whole truck. Okay. What to do? What to do? I know what to do. Scooby Scooby Doo, where are you? Red and your weirdly not. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Keith's Customs. This is really sketchy. <laughs> okay, what I've got here is I've got, I couldn't make it work with the hoist in the center. It just wasn't gonna work. So what we got is I got the hoist on one end, lifted it up. What I did is I lifted it up and set a horse on each side. What I'm going to try to do is roll the truck forward, hopefully, and then rearrange the horses and stuff until it clears. Same with the engine hoist, hopefully. That's going to be sketchy because it's on the tire. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it works. Might be a Three Stooges moment. Only I'm the only stooge. Okay, here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
that was gonna help any smashing finger, but it's always think you know best to think smart, wear some protection. So you know it, you're not gonna. Now what happened is it smashed my finger and it cut the corner of my by my nail a little bit. So if I would have had gloves on, probably still would have smashed my finger a little bit, but it wouldn't probably have cut my finger. So, always think of safety first, guys. Safety first. When working on these projects, that way you'll be uh, you'll be in the you'll be ahead in the long run. Okay, I've got that. Let's try to move it a little bit. Sketchy guys. <laughs> really sketchy. Okay, we're heading over here. So it's gonna have to come. So we're back against the thing you now. We're gonna have to switch. The switch side was oh, we have to switch sides with the sawhorses. Because we're up against the, the bumper, which is trying to clear now. We're going to uh, have to move that horse on the other side of the tire. Once we get to that point, we've got uh, 10 inches. And then uh, and we should be okay. As soon as this back is clear, I see if I can't get that middle horse or the back horse in the middle across the frame. Uh, Across the runners for the, the bed runners. We're good, then. it's just slow but sure.
Three weeks later. <laughs> okay, see you got. I have to move you guys here. All right. I think I might move this horse. This stool is higher. That way I can move the horse in the back. Little bar stools there. I got, to do this. I got two of those. These are heavy duty, boy. This is uh, old cast iron or like wrought iron bar stools. Heavy duty. Okay. I'm going to switch this out. We should go past it. Oh, this has been a bear. You know, this would have been easier. I <laughs> just would have had three guys over here. We each get a corner. Then one person guides the truck up while the one on each corner holds the bed. <laughs> Nobody was available. Okay. I think we've almost got this. So I'm going to move the block. Uh, move the truck some more. Then I'm going to lower the hoist. I'll position the horse in the back of the truck across the beams. And then once I get the truck clear, the frame, I will do the same with the front. And uh, hopefully we'll get it on the horses. Fingers crossed. Don't have to already 
to go here before I come to the front of the door. So she's pretty much where she's going to have to be. I got Yeah, let's uh, move her head a little bit more. Oh man. Well, she's out from underneath her. Almost. <laughs> Yeah, you got uh, a little ways to go there. But look at that frame. Huh? Look at the nice, nice condition that frame is. Just a little bit of cleaning up. And poor 15er. I mean, even the even the leaf springs and everything, the shackles are all in good shape. I got some new shocks for it. I put some new shocks on there. Those are kind of roached, but I mean, everything's in really nice shape. To get a new connector here, the, the connector broke off inside the thing here for the wiring for the gas tanks. So I gotta get a new, new connector there. But, there she is. Bed is off. So, you can get, look at the back of this cab. Look at that. Look at that, just a little, little surface rust right here. But look at that, there's, there's nothing. That's awesome. We want to be able to prep the body and prep the cab and get that ready for paint. Prep the prep the uh, bed. Get that ready for paint. So I'm gonna take a break here. If you like what you see, you like and subscribe. Appreciate the support. Uh, as always, have a good one.